Welcome everybody. My name is Christian. I'm from Berlin and I will teach you Misty today. It's one of the most requested songs in hotel bars and even Clint Eastwood made a film uh, called um, uh, Just Misty in the German version or I think Play Misty for me. It's a thriller. This video is also a thriller for you. You get a slow replay after my patient teaching. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Hello everybody to my help section for Misty. Let's have a brief look at uh, some of the things from the beginning and then we will focus straight away at the hard bits. Um, as everybody knows, meanwhile, I have a slowed down version after that where you can look at it at your own tempo and I want, just want to have a look at uh, some voicings that come up here. For example, when we have the... We start with bum, 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 easy, 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 E flat minor, and here we have this brief leading chord to the A flat major. Then we have these triplets, and uh, just saying this for the whole piece. Don't take triplets here too serious. They should not be your enemy here. Of course, you can stretch the whole piece. It's cocktail jazz. Hey, we are here in the stretching business, like. And you can stay here, let's say for 10 minutes. Order your cocktail. And then <laughs> you go on. So here, nothing is really bad for you. Then we come to well, there, were, there was one voicing I wanted to show you. That is really everything is quite easy. It repeats. Um, I know it's not here yet. So now we come to the here in the B part. Uh, we have these also these um, upbeat triplets. We start uh, the it starts here, and now. So, here we go. So, again, here these triplets, stretch them like a good German chewing gum. Um, these are fourth triplets. They're usually quite hard to count, but here in the hotel business, uh, we just do as we like. People are not listening or are drunk, or they earn so much money that they just don't care anymore what happens in the background. So, we have this. And here, now we have a look at this. This is a little cluster, and if you followed my cocktail piano tutorials, you see we have this voicing here that is seven, two, three, five for the B flat minor seven. You see, understand chords in order to play them easier if you understand them. Second step, you visualize them, and then you play them. But understanding helps is a good way. It goes through many channels of your brain if you understand them. So that this is the seven, two, three, five voicing. And then we go to the that is the E flat seven. And again, understanding it's the major third, the five, then we have the minor seven, and here we have the what is that? Do you know that? This one, right? It's the flat nine, the minor nine of E flat. So we have this. And it's good to learn because it's coming back. And here, E flat minor seven, E seven with the flat with the minor nine here. Okay, then. We have, it comes back, that's the beauty about this chorus, is then we have this, uh, the same one half tone down, that is opening up the sound. That's the magic about it. Um, like, um, and here, and here we have the same. Look, A minor seven, root is A, we have A minor seven, seven, two, three, five follow my cocktail piano lessons. <clears throat> then you have an overview and you find that much easier. You understand it and that makes you play it faster. And then we go to this one. And this I explain. It's, it's a 2-5 combination of G, so A minor, 7, D7, and this D7 is the D altered chord. This is what I'm explaining before we go to the hard runs. Uh, we have the again. We have the major three. We have the um, the augmented five, uh, and has a great sound. So it's worth learning. 
the minor seven, and here we have the sharp nine. We love the sharp nine. If we love anything, first love Christian, then love the sharp nine in that order. And then comes God, and then comes your, um, your uh, wife or your husband. Okay, here, D7, and then just, in this case, visualize it. Visualize the mountain, um, the mountain that this is giving, the relief, and uh, play that a couple of times, like hands in the lap. Can you see the notes? Yes, I have them. Control, that is control. I do that with my students here. Can you see them? Can you see the notes? Don't do like fumble. Students love to fumble, not at my body, but at the body of the piano, like, and then they play something and then me, no, no. And uh, it's this, this, and this time, waste of time, and uh, you will never get away from fum fumbling. So, do you see the notes? Yes, here. Okay, I taught you that already. Um, subscribe to get into the, get the benefit of Christian learning. So, then we have again the theme, and now we start with a little bit of the runs. Let's have a look. It's the we are now top of the second um, chorus. We played A A B A theme twice the A. Again, then we have a da 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 dum, that is the B part, and A again. It's the most common, 95% of our standards is A, A, B, A. And now we are starting at top, at the A. And there I do a little bit with the, um, I quote the melody, and then I do this little run. And let's have a look, because here, finger setting is very important, and also understanding we have this, now we go. Whoa, 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 Christian. Okay, yeah. Again. And now. Da, da, da. These are the first three notes of the run. And what is this? These are the notes of E flat major. Just really the straight chord notes. Remember, it's a very cheap trick of mine and of all um, cocktail piano players because they get very low pay. Um, and, and they don't make an effort, so we take really cheap tricks that we don't get underpaid. So, um, now, we have these three notes of the E major 7 chord, and now we go up. Da, 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 and mind you, isn't that possible? We do the same again. It's just the same notes. We just leave out the root of the chord. You can also say it's G minor, but that's maybe confusing, and you will be confused enough in this time at this time of crisis. So it's a major repeat. Then we are here, and wouldn't you have, have expected this? We do it again, and then, bing. So it's really it sounds great. Little effort. That's cocktail piano. Okay, and you can stretch that too ones who can play that uh, better, speed it up a little bit after practicing, tie it here, tie, ding, and already you made a huge impression and can order you your second free orange juice. Um, we have uh, another bit, what will we have here? A bit of, uh, To this run, we have this um, um, still second chorus, first part A, and here again you have the same voicing. You learned it in the first A part. You can use it in the B part again. Here, B minor seven, seven two three five, and we have the E seven, E flat seven. And you see the beauty about this one is the so-called B voicing. I will treat that soon. Is we have the B minor seven. And then look what I do for just the E flat seven, the B flat minor seven. And now we go to the E seven here. This is the B flat minor seven. And E flat seven is just this. One finger is moving, this one. And you have the voicing here, B, and then E flat seven. Oh, you see? Piano playing is all a big bluff. At least if you learn from me. So, and then, trill a little bit, and then we have again 
the A flat 7 major 7 is again 7, 9, 3, 5. You see these voicing are reoccurring. Uh, go back to my cocktail piano tutorials and have a look at the voicings that I'm teaching you there. Now we have... Same thing in the left hand. I uh, cannot go into every detail here. The um, tutorial would last until 2095. I had an estimate from a mathematics professional and he said, no, don't do that. Okay. And here we have uh, something that would, I would not recommend to count because it's five. One, two, three, four, five, and then you've got to be here with the D flat seven. So what you do is you just play five notes, don't count. As I said, we are in a stretching business. Maybe you can do some stretching in front of the mirror before so that you know what I mean and you get, you know, your muscles get stretched and then you can easily stretch also 16th notes. That's science. That was wrong, Christian. Well done. Like one, two, three, four, five, and then, and you are in safe harbor again. Okay. Um, now we go to the, ah, we, this is a little bit tricky. We have this, you know, I put a little bit of bluesy effect in there, like F minor seven. Yeah. Again, if you follow me, you know this two finger downward slide. Again, it's not a Taekwondo movie, a move, but it's a the two finger downward slide. It's not a lethal uh, martial arts move. It's just this trick and it sounds great. Bah. Practice those separately. And then we go on. Now we come. Shock horror. Again. Now we are in the second A part. Again, the second A part is indicated by me quoting the theme. You see? Second A part. Improvising part. Now, look at this. Same. It's the same again. Can you believe it? It's cocktail piano is really the cheapest, it's the prostitute of all piano styles um, and not the most expensive one. Um, still, it sounds great. You should play it. I'm just saying. So, um, then we have uh, this thing. Uh, uh. And that is all. Oh, that is all. Uh, Sounds great, doesn't it? Like, there is a little bit of drone lick in here and here. And here you see in my left hand, you see this uh, monster. I see two monsters right now because I see my reflection of my face on the display. You see one monster, that's enough for now. It's this one. If you cannot play this, the 10 here, you either use um, arpeggiate it, means you dissolve it. Again, you can stretch it somehow. You don't have to bring the both hands exactly together. So, or you just play the fifth down here. Yeah? If you can, you play this. And, oh, it sounds great. It sounds great. Christian, well done. I have to play it again just to feel happy for now. Oof. So, and here we come to the now we have AA of the second chorus. Now we come back to the we come back to the second uh, chorus now. It's a it's a lick from blues piano I use here. 
It's a little of blues piano that has found its way also into pop piano and of course into jazz, into bluesy jazz. Now let's have a look at it. It's this one is easy. And now second two finger down. My fingernails are long and dirty. That's too bad. Okay, can change it for now. Now here. Two finger downward. We have the voicing we learned before, holiday. Um, but it's it's a uh, it's it was up here. Sorry, yeah. And now we have uh, we have ah, Christian now. Um, yeah. And here you slide with the first finger. Do it. It sounds nice. Here I order you to do it. So we have it. And now. Everybody can do that. It's a nice, I like this passage. Maybe I should teach only this passage. Okay, now we have, okay, next monster. Now we start here with, um, we are in A flat major now here. And now comes the horror. It's not just coming at night, it's also coming in my tutorials. And we start here, we are in A flat major. And again, we understand the chord. We know what the A major chord is. And we do the same as in our first horror run. This, it's just, it's the major seven, uh, major third, and the fifth of A flat major. And I do the same. I will never raise my level above cheating. Now we do it, we repeat it. You see, you see it's repeating the same pattern. And now only here, here we go with the fifth finger and then, so this is the end. Simplify the complicated task, understand that this is, and then you have it. You have that's it. And then only from then you go on to speed up. And then we go to the uh, next, then comes here. Now, it, this is a, a very precious moment. It's the deepest note I ever played in my tutorials. You will never have found a deeper note than this one. Enjoy it. Get a good bottle of red wine out and wait for this moment and then boof. Nice and dramatic. Don't, don't hammer it in, okay? It's deep enough. And then we go here. And now we have a look. We start from the run of terror is... I have to learn it. Hold on, hold on, give me a chance. Okay, we have this. And now don't ask questions, just follow me. This is the D7 with the augmented five, remember? So it's again, it's a seven, three, five, but just the five is augmented. Again, we use the same pattern. Now look, we start here, upbeat, now. Pattern one. Two, and only here we do, we, we play the G and do the rest. And here you have to cheat with the finger setting. Okay, again, we D7 augmented five. We start this and then pattern, repeat. Of course you have to tie it. Repeat, almost repeat, take the G here. And I think I played it like this, that I can do this in the end. Finger setting is tremendously important here. Yeah. 
and on and on we go with the easy bit, easy bit, easy bit, like... Uh and then we have a little fill. Um oh, hold on. Now we are in the last A part, last A part. Make sure you use the finger setting right. If you're good, you remember that these are just fourth intervals. And one five. Dun, 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 dun. Finger setting. And then, here important, you can do it with the second finger. And then again, third finger. And I love this one. Hope you do too. And blues again. You, you see this? We are in A, ma A, A flat major. Do you remember the arpeggio with the 735 arpeggio? Guess what Einstein Christian did? Here. It's the same voicing. Before that it was arpeggiated, now we play it as one or just briefly arpeggiated like. A same structure, same structure. And we go on and we have... Um, and you go down in speed and... And... D flat 7 with a voicing 3, 7, 9. By now you should know all little things and now again finger setting we're coming um, from above here let me see from where above we came yeah it's a sequence it's a sequence Fourth note, fourth intervals, fourth intervals. Look at this, fourth interval, fourth interval, fourth interval, fourth interval, fourth interval, and the only fifth. That's why it sounds so good, it has a special sound. No? And then here. Now enjoy the slow replay and uh, yes, I think you got it. I think I taught it to you. I think I made it. Yes, that would be great. I would be um, most pleased if you managed to play this and if, you, if I managed to teach it to you. Now enjoy the rest. Bye bye from Berlin. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Did you get it? Can you play it? I very much hope so, because I'm a teacher. I would love you to progress. Now you can subscribe here somewhere in the corner or just choose another video if you like my kind of tutorials um, as opposed to those tutorials who just have these three minutes of uh, dots falling down and then say the link for the sheet music is down there if you prefer mine you can support me with a donation highly appreciate it have a nice sunday have a nice weekend and stay safe bye bye